This channel only took three months to reach 100,000 subscribers, and even less to get millions of views and make thousands of dollars. And the crazy part is, their shorts are so simple that I managed to recreate something similar using nothing but free AI tools. And it only took me 15 minutes. So in this video, I'm gonna break down how literally anyone can start a faceless YouTube channel just like this one, and actually make money from it even if you've never made a video in your life. Of course, there are always people saying shorts don't pay anything, but honestly, the fact that some boomers still believe that is exactly why you should jump on shorts right now. YouTube's algorithm keeps changing, and right now, it's paying out more than it was six months ago, and even more than any other platform you could think of. And I can tell you this with confidence because I've been doing YouTube automation for years, making videos that got millions of views and thousands of dollars. So I'm not just bullshitting here. Without any more yapping, to get started, the first step is picking a winning niche. Now, before we pick a niche, you first need to understand a very important concept called supply and demand. Basically, supply is how many videos already exist in a niche, and demand is how many viewers actually want to watch those videos. When supply in a niche goes up but the demand stays the same, the niche slowly dies out. And at that point, only the biggest channels survive. That's why I personally recommend starting fresh in a new niche, instead of copying some other successful channel. Because if you do a little research, you'll quickly find plenty of channels that tried to copy the original and barely got any views, simply because they didn't bring anything new. What we want to do instead is copy the style of the channel, but change the niche. So for example, instead of talking about science, we could talk about space, aliens, or literally anything else. And to save time thinking about this, we're just going to use ChatGPT to generate niche ideas that are similar to this channel. So here's how. First, go to the step-by-step -step document I linked in the description, copy the first prompt, and paste it into a new ChatGPT chat. After that, ChatGPT will give you a list of niches, and from there, you can either pick one of them or even ask it for more ideas. For me, I decided to go with this one since it already has a lot of demand and there are tons of cool ideas to make content about. And with the niche locked in, it's time for the next step and that is setting up your channel the right way. This shouldn't take you much time, so first things first, we need a name. For mine, I just asked ChatGPT to give me some cool channel name ideas and picked one that sounded good. Simple as that. Next up is the profile picture, and for that we'll need some kind of character for the channel, just like this channel is doing. So, to generate that character, head back to the document, copy this next prompt, and paste it into ChatGPT. After that, just write down what kind of animal or character you want it to create for you. For me, I went with a fox. Honestly, just because it looks cool. Then hit generate, wait a few seconds, and once it's done, it should look something like this. With the profile picture finished, the only thing left is the banner. And for that, we're gonna use Canva. So first, log into your account, then click Start a new design and search YouTube banner. After that, pick any background color you like on this little box here and apply it just like this. Next, type in whatever text you want right here and make sure to include a call to action to subscribe at the bottom. And with that done, here's what my channel looks like with all the branding in place. So now that the channel is set up, the next step is generating the video topics for it. For the topics, we want creative ideas that make people watch the entire short and stop scrolling to find out the answers. The good news is, you don't even have to think about it yourself. All you need to do is go back to the document and copy this next prompt into the same ChatGPT chat. After that, fill in the blanks with your niche and hit send. What this does is take the examples and generate a bunch of similar topic ideas that fit your niche perfectly. As you can see, we now have a big list of solid topics. So all you have to do now is to go over them and pick the one you want to get started with. And with that done, you're ready to move on to the next step, writing a script for your chosen topic. This works the same way as the topics. You don't have to lift a finger and it gets pretty easy once you make a I work for you. First, go to the document, copy this prompt, and paste it into a new ChatGPT chat. What it does is analyze the structure of a viral short that I've included, and then it writes a new one with the same structure, but tailored to your topic. So hit generate, wait a few seconds, and this is what the result will look like. Now with the script ready, that means it's now time to generate a sexy voiceover for it. For this part, you don't have to worry about recording the voiceover yourself. Because even if your voice isn't that good, you could still generate voiceovers that sound very human and realistic, 
using this AI tool called Eleven Labs. So once you log into Eleven Labs, the first thing you want to do is click on the Voices tab in the top left corner. That's where you'll find a whole list of voices you can play around with and click on any one of them to hear how they sound. You can find good voices like that, but for me, I just like to use the filters tool instead. So I'm going to set it to a British accent and make sure it's a young man. But most importantly, make sure to choose high quality voices because these are the ones that sound so realistic you can't tell if it's AI. So once your filters are set, scroll through the results until you find a voice you like. When you do, just click on Use Voice right here. Now all that's left is to paste your script into the box, click Generate, and then download the final voiceover. And just like that, you've got your voiceover ready, which means now it's time to move on to editing the actual video. And that all starts with the scenes. If you watch this channel closely, you'll notice that his videos are really just a bunch of grouped pictures that were clearly generated using AI. And honestly, that makes the job way easier for us. So, to start off, we're going to need the prompts to generate these pictures. But don't worry, you don't even have to come up with these prompts yourself. All you need to do is go back to the document and copy this prompt that basically generates all the image prompts you'll need. It's a pretty long prompt, but the good news is that it's the only one you'll need. Once you've got it, the next step is to paste in the prompts one by one on ChatGPT. So for example, the first one I tried came out looking like this. After that, it's just a matter of repeating the process. Copy the next prompt, paste it in, and then wait a few seconds for it to generate. Then keep doing the same thing for each prompt until you've gone through all of them. And with that done, you'll now be ready for the fun part, which is editing the actual video. Now, there are tons of editing tools you could use for that. But the problem is, most of them are either overpriced or way too complicated to actually work with. The good news is, we can just use the free tool CapCut and still get the job done even better than this channel. And the best part is, literally anyone can get started with it, even with zero editing experience. So first, open CapCut and start a new project. Then, import all the images and the voiceover you generated earlier, and drag and drop each piece into place just like this. Next, before we do any editing, we need to make sure the video format fits the YouTube short size right here. So make sure that it's set to the right format. After that, the next thing we need to fix are those pauses in the voiceover, they're boring, they slow down the video, and they'll just make viewers click away. So, start by zooming in, select the dead silence, and cut it out using the cutting tool. Keep doing that for every pause until the whole voiceover is smooth and organized. With that done, it's time to match the images with the voiceover. All you need to do is play the video and, as the voiceover runs, match what's being said with the right images. If a scene needs to last longer to fit the audio, just drag it out and make it longer like I did here. Do this for all the images until you've got a complete video, but we're not done yet. To put the cherry on top, we're going to add captions. Luckily, CapCut makes this super easy with the auto captions feature. All you have to do is go to the captions section, click generate, and wait a few seconds for it to do its thing. Once that's done, customize the text by making it bigger, adding a black border, and choosing a bold font like the one I picked here. And with that, here's what the final video looks like. What's the very first thing you'd do if the zombie started took over the world right now? Most people picture themselves running into the streets, grabbing weapons, maybe even heading to the store for supplies. It looks pretty close to the example channel, and it only took us about 10 minutes to make it. I guess you're starting to realize how ridiculously easy it gets once you get AI tools to work for you. Anyways, now that the video is edited, the final step is uploading it to YouTube with the right SEO strategy. I hear a lot of people say things like, SEO is useless, or that it doesn't really make a difference. But having been on YouTube for a while now, I can tell you that's totally not true. Using SEO properly is what makes your video show up when someone searches for something in your niche instead of someone else's video. And don't underestimate the power of the search bar. A big chunk of your viewers can actually come straight from search if you do it right. Basically, it's you helping the algorithm help you, making sure your videos get suggested to the right people. Personally, I like to use this tool called VidIQ to handle all my SEO. With its AI features, I can generate everything I need in just one click. All you do is give it your video topic, and it creates a title, description, tags, and even trending keywords related to it. So you don't have to spend hours figuring it out yourself. 
So once you create an account, click on the Create button in the left menu, then select Generate. That's the tab where you can get everything done. Keywords, description, tags, all in one place. Start by typing your video's topic in the box right here. In a few seconds, AI will generate everything for you all in one place. As you can see, it gave me a bunch of popular keywords and tags that we'll use all to make sure the video finds the right audience. Now it's time to actually upload the video to YouTube. Head over to your channel, click on Upload Video, and select your video file. Once that's loaded in, start by adding your title thumbnail right here. Then move on to the description. Copy the one vidIQ generated and paste it right into the description box. After that, scroll down to the tag section and add in the tags vidIQ suggested. Once it all looks good, hit publish. And just like that, you now have an uploaded video ready to go viral and print you money. Up until now, there's still one thing I haven't told you. And that is, you won't succeed with this method if you don't actually put in the work. I see so many people skipping the grind and then wondering why they're not where they want to be. The truth is, to make this work, you've got to be grinding day and night, trying, failing, and pushing through until it finally clicks. And of course, along the way, you're gonna need support from people who've been through it before. That's exactly why I created my free Discord community for YouTube automation and making money. It's full of people just like you, who are on the same journey, sharing advice and helping each other out. So if you're interested, hit the link in my bio and join us. Aside from that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to become part of the community here too. And that's all for today's video. I'll see you in the next one.